to be right. Uh, you guys, this hat supports performers. It's also super empty, uh, which is pretty typical. But this is a showcase, and people are pretty funny, and I'm going to put money in. So peer pressure. Uh, help people get gas money home, or at least pay for their drinking habits. That's where all these jokes came from, and it's the right thing to do. Um, your next comic coming to the stage has a lot of habits, I'm sure. Uh, uh, one of them is being super hilarious. Please give it up for Eden. No. Too supportive. This is not how I get down, man. <laughs> you guys gotta dial it back a little bit. Uh, <laughs> that's what I like. <laughs> People are fucking stupid. <laughs> they are. And I'm no better, man. I've told more dick jokes in a bookstore this month than books I've read this year by a long shot. <laughs> it's not even close. It's not even close. <laughs> Stupid people, I saw a guy get a tattoo on his neck of a swastika with a circle and a little line through it. Which I guess means when it comes to Nazis, this guy's just, you know, he's, he just blah, you know? <laughs> no thank you on the Nazis. <laughs> Idiot. You know how I know that people are fucking stupid, myself included, especially me. You know those things, in, uh, they got a, especially in public bathrooms, when you open the door, it closes and it has this little air compressor, so it goes <laughs> You know why those are there? Because if they weren't there, idiots like me would come in like, Hey, what's going on in here, guys? <laughs> the hole in the wall now is what's going on in here. Thanks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I got those where I work. I uh, just started working uh, at an unnamed sandwich joint. Uh, and they, uh, they refer to us as sandwich rock stars. Which is fine, but it's a little condescending considering that's actually what I wanted to be when I was a child. <laughs> that's like, hey, you're Dr. Wendy's cashier now. Get out there. <laughs> Enjoy yourself, idiot. <laughs> Work so many fast food jobs, I don't, still don't understand how it works. I walked by this Burger King recently and there was a sign outside that said, under new management. And I was thinking, what did the previous manager do that they had to like inform the community that it was safe to come in again? <laughs> <laughs> He's like wearing tomatoes over his eyes, taking his shirt off, putting razor blades in the kids' meals, losing his mind. <laughs> That's my worst fear is ending up being like a, the cool guy that works at the fucking <laughs> job. Like, hey guys, Eaton's here. We don't have to wear our visors tonight. <laughs> Turn off the radio and plug in the iPod. We're here till closing. <laughs> Not doing that shit. I've been keeping my mouth shut at this new job. I always get in trouble with jobs because I can't fucking not run off at the mouth. It's so hard. This guy, this guy, I couldn't help it. This guy came up to me the other day and he was going to teach me how to use the meat slicer. And he came up and he looked me in the eyes. He started talking to me and he had half a pair of glasses. <laughs> and I, without thinking, I just blurted out, don't just come over here and start talking to me like that's normal. <laughs> I'm not going to have you teach me how to use the razor sharp device. That's not happening. <laughs> We're not doing it, man. <clears throat> you can take a drink real quick. She's right. I do have a lot of fucking bad habits. <laughs> I just said habits. <laughs> it's up to me to decide if they're bad, I guess. And they are. <laughs> I don't know. Some of the people that... Like, we're in a bookstore now, and I, I'm, I haven't been... I used to be a reader, actively. Uh, but, you know, I've gotten stupider. What are you going to do? But some of the shit that's behind the logic of reading is, is dumb to me. And let's, let's break it down. If you talk to someone who defends, like, Harry Potter and Twilight and all those stupid fucking books. Inevitably, this argument is gonna come up. At least the kids are reading. 
at least the kids are at least the kids are reading completely cuts out any examination as to the content of the words on the page. <laughs> That's like Donnie, he was too stupid to read the Harry Potter, we had to bring it down a little bit. We just wrote diarrhea on a bar napkin four hundred times, and now he just stares at that while he drools and plays with himself to stay awake. <laughs> but at least he's reading. He's tech there's words on the page there. <laughs> Charlotte was an anorexic, she wouldn't eat anything, so we tied her down and forced fed her with a bunch of aluminum foil. Now her teeth are butter yellow, she smells like garbage, and she just shits blood all day. But at least she's eating, right? There's something going in. You're not gonna make a kid smarter by dumping wizard bullshit on their fucking brain. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Everyone's stupid fucking everywhere. The funniest thing that I've ever seen in my life happened recently. I cut my finger really bad, I'm not even gonna try to explain how. But I had to go to the hospital, and they used this like medical grade glue to glue it shut. And while the guy was down there, he opened up the little thing, right? And it went, <laughs> And he went, Poof! Poof! And then he ran off. He ran back by screaming. He ran by shrieking again. And I was like, buddy, where are you going? You are at the hospital. <laughs> Take a seat. Someone will be right with you, man. <laughs> I've been telling that joke a lot lately, and I wasn't going to do it tonight, but something happened to me uh, last night that made me want to do it. I really could have just fixed it myself in retrospect, but I went down to the hospital because I was afraid I needed stitches, and I got the bill in the mail. It, that joke cost me $200 <laughs> to watch that fucking idiot. Scored himself in the eye with glue and run around <laughs> screaming like that. <laughs> I don't feel bad making fun of people. I was on the bus the other day, and this old woman got on the bus, and she had this, th this little kid, he was like four or something, and uh, she had all these groceries and shit, and she got him all situated with his backpack and stuff. And then the bus stopped, and then she fell forward and hit her head on the fucking floor. <laughs> and me and the kid just fell out laughing. Just laughing at her, man. And she looks at me and she's like, is that really the example you want to set for this kid? And I said, example nothing. This kid's a natural, man. <laughs> he can teach me a thing or two. I love the way you're slapping your leg, you're pointing at her. She's never going to forget this. <laughs> <laughs> the bus is a good place to figure out someone's character. People are weird on the bus. Like, you know... Like, the bus pulls up and they stop and everybody's like on their way to work and they're all like kind of tense and pissy because it's first thing in the morning. And then somebody's in a wheelchair, right? So the bus has got to do the thing where the... Oh. And then she comes on and then people are like, God fucking damn it, man, I gotta be... And then it's... And then he brings her around and fucking buckles her thing in. I was on the bus the other day, somebody did that. And then once they got all that out of the way, she stood up and found a different place to sit. <laughs> oh I was fucking furious. So you know what I did? I went and I took her seat. <laughs> you lost your wheelchair privileges, babe. You're done. But I'm a man of class, I am. <laughs> Like, there's this thing that guys do, and I don't agree with it. Like, you're gonna pull back. The ladies always pull back when I talk about this. <clears throat> guys do this thing in a public restroom where when, they, when they're when they taking a leak at the urinal, they pick their nose and they wipe it right there on the wall. Right? See? Yeah, I'm with you, ladies. I'm with you, ladies. Don't do that. It's fucking gross. What you do is you pick your nose and then you piss it off the end of your finger like that. <laughs> You know what my new favorite thing to do when I'm in, in the public restroom is? Is uh, if I'm taking a leak and someone finishes before me, and then they go over and they start to wash their hands, I, I lean and I go, Hey buddy, you don't have to do that just because I'm in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, man. I'm not here to judge. I know your genitals are cleaner than that fucking faucet handle. <laughs> <laughs> Ask the guy next to you at the urinal if he has any Adderall. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking getting shit housed. I was walking by this all male bathhouse recently, and there was a man outside that said, I will give you $200 if you come inside and take a shower with me. And I was like, Yeah, that's, that's very flattering. Thank you. But now I'm kind of thinking, like, Yeah, maybe I should have, like. <laughs> Because I don't know if you can tell this by looking at me, but the one thing I could use more than $200 is a fucking shower. <laughs> But, uh, you know.
know, you still you find your time for your little intellectual pursuits, right? <laughs> intellectual pursuits like, uh, oh, I puked in the shower. <laughs> Two times, man, that was it. Found a new hobby. <laughs> Shit, man. You guys think, uh, you guys think Jesus ever walked along the surface of the water and longed to swim? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, all the kids are in the water, like, come on, Jesus, get in the water, we're having a good time. He's like, I can't. <laughs> You're a freak, Jesus. A freak. Yeah, well, at least I have a dad. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's Oh, I only have one minute left? I felt like I was just getting great. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like the set was just starting to fucking cook, too. How do, how do, where do we go from here? <laughs> the broom closet? I say back to the bar. You and I got different destinations in mind, man. <laughs> Alright, well, we gotta think of something to close on. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> And I don't want to. I don't want to leave on this awkwardness at all. If you want, I'll stay up here and I'll sweep for the last minute of my set. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna say something really fucking filthy and disgusting, and then I'll go. <laughs> Guys, everything is bigger in in Texas, especially the catheters. They got big dick holes down there. <laughs> they just feed a garden hose into it, it's like they're oh. siphoning gasoline out of a jeep. <laughs> That's it, I'm eating, thank you.